Hi, I'm Jonathan Wild, and we are going to cover how to account for PAR bonds. Bonds are a type of note payable issued and sold by companies and other groups like governments. Regular interest payments based on a contract rate are typically made to the holders or purchasers of bonds. At the end of the bond's life, called the maturity date, the final payment of par value or face value is due to the holder of the bond. So then, what are par bonds? A par bond is a bond that's sold at par value. For example, if a company issues bonds with a $50,000 par value and receives $50,000 cash from investors, those bonds are sold at par. This is similar to golf. If the ninth hole is a, is a par five and it takes you five strokes, you made par on that hole. Okay, let's do an example. Assume a company issues 10-year bonds on December 31st with a 10% annual contract rate and semi-annual interest payments. The par value of these bonds is 50,000 and the bonds sell for 50,000, meaning they sold at par. To record the issuance or sale of the par value bonds, we debit cash for 50,000 and credit bonds payable for 50,000. The debit to cash increases that asset account and the credit to bonds payable increases that liability account. Now for each of the next 10 years, the company will need to make semi-annual interest payments on June 30th and December 31st. To compute the payment, we take the $50,000 par value, multiply it by the 10% annual contract rate, and multiply that by one over two because these are semi-annual payments, meaning twice per year. This results in $2,500 interest payments twice per year for the next 10 years. To record the entry for the semi-annual interest payment, we debit bond interest expense for $2,500 and credit cash for $2,500. We record this entry for each interest payment on June 30th and December 31st for each of the next 10 years of the bond's life. Now, when the bond reaches its maturity date at the end of its 10-year life, we need to record the payment of principal or par value of $50,000 to the holder of the bond. To record the maturity of the bond, we debit bonds payable for 50,000 and credit cash for 50,000. The debit to bonds payable removes the liability and the credit to cash reduces that asset account.